Hi guys, I'm here with Arkansas Emblem Show, and today I am with Rochelle Turner with yeah. KRK and Fox 16 here in Little Rock. How's it going? Yes, and look, see your little jacket has yeah. a so it has a new sign, and so and we are actually what are we doing? We're working on a story. We are working on a story today for Keegan Provis. Keegan is eight years old, and he lost his life earlier this year. He was battling a brain he was battling brain cancer and today his friends and family and people in the community held a big birthday celebration and a balloon release just to kind of celebrate him and focus on him so that's what we're working on and you can tune in tonight uh k-a-r-k news at six for a preview of the story and then i'll have a story later on this evening of a full story coming up on KRK News at 10. But I'm here with Marina, and she's just yeah, kind of getting see the a, office up there. a showdown of what's going on here in the newsroom. And I'm editing my story and kind of listening to some of the sound bites and information we got. And we're also working on a murder investigation in Maumel. Um, Maumel police are not releasing very much information, but they just tell us that they got a call about a 19-year-old at an apartment complex, and when they got there, he was found dead. Right now, they don't know um, what happened to him. They did say his death is suspicious, so I'm working to get more information on it. Yeah, so how long have you been a reporter here? I've been a reporter for about six months here in Little Rock, Arkansas, and I love every minute of it. Yeah, and you probably have covered all different stories. If you could talk about one favorite one, what would it be? Oh my goodness, my favorite story would have to be, and I did this last week, okay. a little girl in Conway. She's 12 years old, okay. and she is going to Westminster. For those who don't know what Westminster is, Westminster is like the Super Bowl, but for dogs. It's okay. the nation's top dog show, and you've probably seen it on TV before where the dogs, they'll walk fancy, they'll stand fancy, they'll jump through different obstacle courses and it's called Westminster and they compete against other dogs and their breeds and I talked to a little girl in Conway who has a little Manchester Terrier and um, he's already ranked third in the country That's and she's so cool. going up to Westminster which is on Monday and Tuesday she just left and so that that story was just a lot of fun because it involved dogs and I was so happy and I love dogs and then it was like a 12 year old and she's like you know Training a dog at just 12 years old, so it was Amazing. pretty neat. What inspired you to be a news anchor and just to be in this industry? What inspired me was just getting to meet pe different people every day. Every day it's always something different, whether it's good or bad or funny or informative or something that is completely new to you. I meet somebody new every single day. I actually met Marina on a, at, story. on a story. We were covering the funeral for uh, the young gentleman who was shot and killed in Pine Bluff at his pawn shop. And she was there covering the funeral for yeah. the Pine Bluff commercial. And I was there working for uh, KRK. No, I was covering for the family. For the family. So she was there for the family. And so yeah. well, that's how we met. And then she kept in contact with me. And now she's up here learning about some of what we do here it's at the news so station. It's so cool, though. It is. It's a small world. What would you say to somebody who is just starting out in the news world? For someone who is just starting out in the news world, I would recommend you to network as much as you can, okay. connect with reporters, anchors, producers, people behind the scenes, connect with different people in each market. If you have a specific place you may want to go work, okay. you know, connect with people in the community, get to know people because that's how people are going to get to know you and that's how your name's going to get out there. And always, you know, keep a fresh resume, keep your stuff updated. If you want to be on air, keep an updated reel. If you want to be off air, you know, have some writing samples or some work samples. If you want to do photography, of course, you want to have some best camera shots and some of the work that makes you stand out. So, but I would just say, you know, keep pushing. If it's not your time right now, it'll surely come soon. I didn't get my first on-air position until two years once I graduated from college. So it was a long stretch for me, but once I got it, I was like, I finally got it. So I never yes. gave up on my dream. So it's awesome. Well, yeah. this is so inspiring. I want to wish you luck. Well, wish thank you. Best you. of luck as you grow. Thank you. Wish you the best of luck, too. You're amazing. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great day. You, too.